And one of the concerns or one of the, the, the statements that we hear a lot from residents is that, you know, I've lived on this street for X number of years and I've never seen a city vehicle uh, come through here and make any repairs. Asphalt goes through its life cycle. Um, it gets a lot more brittle. The oils and everything that are in the asphalt that give that flexibility dry up and it becomes a more rigid pavement. Just recently, we did have a company come in uh, that they drove every road in the city and as part of what they were do, uh, doing was giving us that what's called a pavement condition index. When you look at the life cycle of asphalt, it has, you know, we generally look at it about 15 years just because of true life cycle with use. Um, and in that 15 years, what we really have to figure out is the best way to go about and maintain the streets and do that preventative maintenance. Uh, this will give us an additional seven plus years of life cycle on a road that, you know, instead of now 15 years, now we've pushed that down the road to 20 to 25 year life cycle on the roads. The first coat is what's colloquially called a chip seal. And on the second part of the process is when they come back through and put the fog seal coat on top, which is that additional black seal coat they've got here. A lot of the calls, a lot of the concerns we got were about the initial look when it was first done, the first two or three hours, four hours right after it was done. Uh, give the, let the process work. This is what it looks like when it's done. Uh, let, the, let the process happen. We have to get to this point, but this is the only way that we're able to touch the enough roads to keep the roads in a condition where it's not potholes. We're not fail, having, having failing roads. We're trying to get the, the uh, traveling public back up to having good quality roads all around the city. The idea is with a project like this, if we're able to come back in and put the seal coat back over top, it closes up and it seals off all of those, uh, all those cracks and everything that are in that surface. So something like this, which costs about a quarter of the overall cost of a mill and overlay, the full rebuild, uh, th this is much more fiscally responsible and, and much e uh, easier for us to get around the residents to do that. Those heavy trucks uh, that, that are coming down two or three times a week to pick up trash, uh, things like that, those are the things that actually are damaging the roads. Your normal uh, residential traffic is, is much easier, much lighter. It's about 10 times harder impact for having a trash truck versus a normal pedestrian vehicle on these roads. If you are part of an HOA or your community is part of an HOA, uh, try and consolidate those waste haulers down to just one waste hauler for the entire OHOA, HOA or entire neighborhood. Even if you're not a part of an HOA, if you can get your community together to do that, uh, those are the things we do appreciate hearing about the residents' concerns and letting us know about areas because we can't see and be at every road in the city. So calling that pothole hotline, using the Independence Now app to notify us about issues and street issues so we can get out there and address them. 